I want to share an update as it relates to getting large orthophotos out of PhotoScan and tiling them to be overlaid on a Google map. Now this is Aaron. Aaron, if you're watching, I won't try to uh, butcher your last name. He posted a comment on one of my videos last week and he sent me his imagery over the weekend because I told him I'd run it through PhotoScan. Here you can see the imagery that I processed in PhotoScan Pro. Now Aaron flies a Skywalker with Pixhawk and photos were taken with his Canon S100. There's about a thousand photos and this took quite a while to run through PhotoScan, about eight hours. And this is of a farm in Kentucky and Aaron did a really good job of getting his mission planned and photos taken on a distance interval. So let me go ahead and turn off the camera so you can see it. You can notice there are very few gaps in the stitching. Now the problem arises when you're working with a large image set like this. If I go to file and then export orthophoto and normally I'll export to a TIFF file but the problem is the GeoTIFF file format I think can only be a maximum of four gigabytes and this exceeds that as you can export to JPEG. And here you can see the JPEG file. It's actually about 500 megabytes but if you're not aware, the problem is you lose any sort of geo-referencing when you do this export. So what I wanted to do was find a better way to get the output so that I could use it to tile it for Google Maps. And another export option that PhotoScan allows you to do is export your imagery into blocks. Now I made these basically 10,000 by 10,000 pixels. And as you can see in the file output, there are a series of images. In this case, there are about 40 TIFF images. They're actually GeoTIFF, so they're all geo-referenced. And just to show you that geo-referencing, I've loaded a couple of these images into QGIS. You can see if I just turn one of these off, you'll notice this spinning beach ball. And you can only imagine loading 40 of these images into QGIS. You definitely need a lot of computer horsepower to do that. So my hope was to bring them all into QGIS and merge them, but what I ultimately found is a different approach where you can still create your tiles from these blocks of images. So what I'll do is use this GDAL build BRT file, and if you're not familiar with the GDAL tools, they're open source freely available. I highly recommend checking them out. So what I'll do is I'll run that command and we'll create a stitch file you can call that whatever you want and then we'll run our different blocks of images through that. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. You can see that that completed quickly. And just taking a quick look at this file, you can see it's an XML format with geo-referencing information and all the images are listed here. After you have your VRT file, I'm going to run one of my favorite commands. It's the GDAL to tiles command and I'm going to specify zoom levels 14 through 20 and we'll hit enter and now this will take a while because it's creating Google map images that will be overlaid on a base map so this will probably take about 30 minutes or more to run so you just let it go through it'll show you the progress from 0 to 100 and when it's done you'll have this nice map and let me go ahead and turn on the overlay you can see the imagery and as if you zoom in you can see those tiles that were generated from GDAL to tiles I'll put a link to this imagery in the description below in case you guys want to check it out and use it for yourself. But just wanted to show that process. It took me several hours over the weekend to figure out, but I thought it would be useful, especially as we're getting longer flight times with our UAVs and being able to process more imagery. Thank you to Aaron for sharing this imagery and let me go through this process. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, Thanks for watching.